Hello, this is Muhammad Abdul Kayyum. In today's video, I am going to show you how to create search option in navigation bar. Okay, so let's see what we are going to develop. Oh, here we are going to we are see a search option in the navigation bar. And if I write down here something with the name any name of these products like tomato, tomato, then it will be searched for tomato and if I write down something else like E then it will be show the products where is E and like A then it will be show the products where use A to spell this product name so let's develop the task and it's think it's very easy just you have to know the tricks okay let's uh, I'm going to show you the tricks right now and let's learn first of all I have to create an application to save the video time I already created the application like this here's the a blank of application no pages here uh, so in home page we see there is no search option so we have to now we have to create search option and then we have to use the code to do the search for this task we have to work in template in navigation bar template so uh, first of all I am going to uh, template then uh, navigation bar yes if uh, I have to modify this navigation bar template code but this one is the default navigation bar template so I can't modify this one so I have to create a new one that means copy this one with a suitable name like navigation bar 2 okay navigation bar 2 copy now I already copied this template now in this template which one is created by me I can modify this one myself so here uh, I have to change code this one okay this one I have to change this this code this HTML code and use search option input option and button here so I already write in this write down this HTML just replace this HTML okay I replace this HTML now now i have to apply this navigation bar as default so i'm going to i'm going to go share component user interface attribute then user interface in here i have to select uh, i have to select what I have to select navigation bar as navigation bar 2 okay so now just apply and run apply changes then run oh no navigation bar is coming here why let's find out first of all I have to check is there I apply the new navigation one yes i already applied navigation by two then maybe my code is not in perfect place so let's let's find out the place where i write down this code oh sorry i have to go uh, go to the template template navigation by two Navigation bit two. Then check the code. This code is successfully replaced or not? Yes. Here's the problem. I can't replace this code. So copy paste the code again and replace it with new one. Just I added added this input field and the uh, search button. Now I change apply change then it will be show us a search option and now I got a search option but 
that if I search what will happen how I pass this value into this report okay so secondly I have to create a report in this in the space in this home page using just a classical I use a classical report so uh, let's create a classical report create resume uh, with any other name I have just written down already write down a query like this so classical report query and in this report photo option just hide this one in this report I am going to create a item like say search okay and now this item will be changed replaced with this one uh, so I already create a create a search option then I uh, then I create a report but don't do the search so I have to now I have to pass this palette into this report so for this to do, do to do this task I have to use a JavaScript and I already write down this JavaScript here just I have to copy paste this code into uh, base JavaScript here okay and write down the here the item name item name is what find out this item name is easy way to find get a item name from front end is this one okay so I just by using this HTML code I use this this items ID and pass this in a variable and then pass this variable to this item so just search press ok then run let's see if I write down here something like QAIUM then is it pass into into this item no it's not passed okay so there is something wrong let's check the oh yes that the wrong is I use this code in wrong place so just I have to write down it here function and global variable just passed then if I run then I write down the kayum when I write down here Kayum, Kayum is automatically write down here. Like if I write down here uh, banana. Okay. So banana is here. Is this banana is here because I use this item in this uh, report query. So it is it's showing us banana. And if I use A, then it will be show everything. Every data if I use tomato T O M A T O O tomato it comes to here and maybe you ask me that my report was in my task here's the the search option is long or in in position is in the center how I do it it's very easy you have to just use a CSS uh, like here I use CSS uh, probably I use the CSS in zero pace uh, let's check or you may write down yourself CSS yes I write down here it in zero pace okay I'll I also show you the, the CSS code uh, this one is the CSS okay so I just copy the codes from here 
to my application sorry this one is my new application and in inline css just i copy this css into here and then save it's come to center it's very easy okay so i think you you were able to learn this uh search option and after doing this search option you will be customized you will be modify you will be beautify add beautification to your page like me uh like here i doing it for a e-commerce website uh thank you for watching my video and if you are a new user if you're a new viewer for my uh channel please subscribe my channel and uh share the videos to your friends thank you bye